Welcome to another episode of the Rugged Homestead, and today I'm going to be growing grapes. I picked up this uh, twofer at Home Depot, twelve ninety eight for two uh, types of grapes, one Niagara and a red seedless. So I've got this pergola that I'm going to uh, be training it up on and have them growing in the front here on this side and over here and then have them grow up and then hopefully across the top. That's the east down there so should get plenty of sunlight as it's growing and just in the late uh, afternoons I think it'll end up getting some uh, shade so I think it should be uh, a good spot right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the plants out of their packaging, their bare root plants, and I'll put them in some water and let them soak for about 30 minutes. Let them hydrate and during that time I'm going to prepare the hole. Okay this is the Niagara. So this will be the green grapes. This is Reliance. This will be the seedless red. The one thing I just did notice about these uh, grapes, however, these grape plants, is this little notice on the packaging. And basically what it says, that it's been protected from aphids, whiteflies, beetles, mealybugs, etc. That's great. The only thing is, treated with neonicotinoids. I'm not crazy about this, and I wasn't aware of it at the time that I bought it. And that's because neonicotinoids, it's killing the honeybees. And hasn't been firmly established yet that that is what's killing the honeybees. But there seems to be a good link uh, to it. And when the bees... Uh, get the flowers that have been treated with these uh, chemicals it uh, leads to what's called colony collapse disorder and basically the bees just disappear from a, a hive and it's not good stuff and unfortunately these have been uh, treated with this so the first thing I'm going to do on the grapes open them up and as I said put them into the water and it's like it's got some good roots not root bound We'll stick it right in here so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to put the other one, the seedless grape one, in as well. There's a concept in gardening. It says, dig a $50 hole for a $10 plant. That way you're sure to give your plants the best start in life. The better your hole, the better the soil, the preparation of it, the better chance the plants are going to have to get off to a good start. So I'm gonna dig the hole now, get it ready, and let these plants soak for a little while. So what are we using? is the leftover garden soil from the garden beds. This was a mix of peat moss, compost, and vermiculite. And it's been regularly amended with uh, uh, shredded leaves every uh, winter. So it's a, a good rich uh, soil, certainly better than the soil that's in here. And then I'll put the uh, plant in and then fill it in with uh, more. So, 
on here. You don't want the uh, um, you want the roots fully buried, and the soil was up to about this union here. So this is about where you're going to want to plant it up to again. This is where the graft was. And this is just some regular uh, stock that it, uh, some root stock that it grew it on, and then they grafted on the vine to it. Just to get an idea of where my soil line is. And so this is a little low yet. This would be burying it below the soil line. So put it back in here and just add a little bit more dirt. All right, that should be plenty. Now you could, if you wanted to, trim these roots to give plenty of uh, side branch growth. But if you look at these, these got some pretty good uh, shoots coming off of them as it is. So there's no need to trim them right now. Just spread them out in the ground. And that's good because this is the soil line down here. And it's an inch or so above where it was. So we'll leave it right there and then we'll put in some dirt around it. With, of course, help from the puppy. You don't want to press down onto the roots. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up using the water in the uh, uh, pail here to uh, get the soil to settle and eliminate any uh, air pockets that be in there. There's one thing you don't want with plants is air pockets on the roots. And when the soil settles down, it'll leave a natural basin here. And that's what you're gonna want so that it will uh, collect water. Okay, we'll take some water and now we'll start watering it. Okay, as the water uh, settles down, we'll continue giving it some uh, uh, drinks and uh, make sure that it uh, is fully uh, hydrated. This is mason twine, and I use it to train the grape uh, vine up the pergola. And then once it gets to the top, it'll be able to essentially secure itself in the future. But I'm gonna put this in and run the twine up. And then the second is to actually put some chicken wire around the plant. Two threats to the plant. Three, actually. One, I have groundhogs. I don't know if, uh, I actually haven't uh, seen them in a while. I've eradicated uh, quite a number of them, but they tend to live underneath my shed. But I haven't seen them in a while, so I might have uh, eradicated the family. The other thing is uh, squirrels. With my raspberry uh, plants, they were going over and constantly digging them up when they either uh, when they wanted to plant their acorns. I think the bigger threat of all of them is actually my dog. He runs crazy around here, and I'm sure he's gonna try and uh, pee on it too. So I'm gonna put this around it, maybe a little bit of burlap along the bottom of it. That way, in case he does uh, try to urinate, uh, it won't go on the plant itself. So first, I'm gonna run the string, and then I'll put this around the uh, plant. Now just take the chicken wire and carefully put it around the plant. Make sure that it doesn't touch it. This is just a temporary thing. And I got some stakes here to put through.
and as soon as I see it's off to a good start, maybe even if it gets above the, uh, the height of it, I'll take it off then and remove it. Okay, one down, one more to go. Dig the hole, prepare the soil, plant the uh, vine, and all the other stuff you just saw. And we've got the second one in with the line going up for the vine to train itself up to the top of the trellis. And got the other one over here. Okay, this is the first time I'm growing grapes, so I'm really not sure what it is I'm doing. But I watched a lot of videos on what to do, how to plant them, so I'm hopeful that we'll uh, get some grapes. Now, from what I understand, first year it's going to try and put out uh, some grapes, but you just cut them off. They're not going to taste good. They're not going to develop properly. Just cut them off, let the uh, plant put all its energy into growing, and then the second year you should get uh, good grapes. So, as I said, first time uh, planting grapes, and we'll see how it goes. So if you like what you see, like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. That way you'll be notified right away when videos like this are posted. And also check out the blog www.theruggedhomestead.blogspot.com where I post weekly updates on what I'm doing to transform my home into a homestead. Okay, thanks for watching.